Hello guys. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a P19 in Plasticity. So first thing, we're going to go here, import, and I'm going to import my reference. So the reference is pretty big, so I'm going to scale it with S, so S one time and second time to validate. The dimension is roughly 50 centimeters. So I'm going to check here that we are in centimeters. So preference, grid and units, and we're going to use the centimeters. So now one, one box is one centimeters. And now it's 10 centimeters. So I'm going to use like somehow five. just to make sure that we are into real dimension. And then I'm going to push it a bit more in the back. You can apply a material and use the opacity in order to see what we're doing. And as you can see, if I have, if I have a, a cube here, I'm not going to see it very well, so I can just M again and use front only. So I will only see it when I see this face, which is pretty convenient. So now I can just lock it and we're going to start on the main shape. So here, I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to trace like very roughly the shape. I don't really pay attention to the curve. I can really focus in on all the straight lines. And now I can use the spline curve and I'm making sure that I'm starting from the curve here. And if it's snapping like this, you can just hit control. So you will have more control on your curves. You can also hit tab, change the mode of your curve. I prefer this one actually. I think it's a bit more precise. And then connect the end. If you hit one on the keyboard, you're gonna see The vertex tool. Here it's a, a bit a little bit special because I can clearly see that the curve is doing something like that, and then we are cutting this part. So I'm gonna use a line tool and I'm gonna roughly imagine the shape of the curve without the boolean. And I can do the same here. And as you can see, it's already turning blue, which means we have a solid. I'm going to create all the line, selecting them and hit, hit G. And now I can use the chamfer here, the fillet, to adjust those lines. Now I can focus on this top part and you're going to see that it's also 
gonna create a volume here. So I'm starting to reshape the volume so it's a bit more precise. At this point, I'm probably gonna extrude some of the part here. B to create a new volume. And now we have a, a nice beginning. We can also probably extrude this part just to feel a bit more where this place where those objects takes place. Here I'm adding some volume to the visor. I think it's actually straight. It's like because of the lens of the, of the camera. Control. Like when you extrude in, you can hit, press control and snap on the edge here. So now for the visor, we can use the two point circle. Like let's say from here to here, like rotate 90 degrees. And now I select this part and shift I, select this one, right click. And now I can remove with shift X those extra parts. Right click and then click here, L to loft, tap tap for G0, selecting those two ones for the continuity. And now I can pick my two sheets and hit J to merge them and I pack. Okay, so this part is a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna start like this. Then I'm gonna use the three point circle and I'm gonna start from the first point, then the second one and I can adjust the diameter like that. And now the goal is to create the same circle here, but tangent. So I'm gonna do it again. So I'm starting from here to here, and then close to the end like that. If those two circles are tangent, it should be just one area, like there is like a segment here, which means that it's not tangent. So I'm going to remove this and this time I'm going to find the highest point and I'm going to hit tangent, tangent, like that. 
same at the bottom. So somewhere here, maybe a little bit more lower, tangent to tangent. Okay. And now we can remove those segments. I can pick this first part, C. Sorry, before doing this, you have to join them, J, and now you can do it. You see, click, right click, and this part, X, to remove it. So we can do the same trick on the other side. This one, this part is quite more difficult to do, but the same principle is here. So one, two, uh, three points, sorry. One, two, three. Then the line here. I think it's a different piece, so we can cut straight to it. And I'm going to use the spline for this one because it's a little bit more complex. And trim this part. And then join them. And now back to the main body, C, right click, X to delete. You can start also to detach this part. So, like the magazine here. Is actually one piece, so one block. And then it's going inside. Shift shift to find the snapping, and then here intersection. Tab for both side, snap to the edge, and right click. Now we have the magazine. I can already use the same line, cut inside here. So C, and then this line here. You can start to adjust a bit some of the element, like for example here, it's a bit more like that. Bring a bit more down. I'm really just looking for the main shape and I'm avoiding the detail for now. With Ctrl R, tab, change the direction. You can also extract like this of the detail. Let's cut a 
Okay, so now we can get a little part here. All right, I think it's uh, giving you some of the most useful tool, like the most basic tool to start in plasticity. And the next one, I'm going to show you how we can go a bit more deeper in the technique to create all the details.